<laughs> oh my fucking god! I guarantee you that the way the CEO's reaction went the morning that they found out about this is they were probably strolling along the little path on their island, going to that epiphany toilet where you're sitting, looking out over the ocean, you get to take a shit in the morning to that. They're sitting there and they're fucking flipping through their feeds, just looking at all their success. And they saw this shit and they were like, It is me, Crazy Plays, and I am back today with something new for the channel once again. So I decided to go on ahead and spice things up a little bit, and I'm starting a new series on the channel called The Wild Wild Web. And this is going to be where pretty much I go on ahead and I look around the internet and I find something absolutely fucking wild and bring it to you guys, share our opinions, and see what's going on. So to start off the series, I decided to pick something really, really, really good. So, in today's day and age, with companies being as big as they get, it's nice to see a company get back to its employees and sometimes take a little step down off of that, you know, high, high road that they're always on. They come down, like, meet with the little dirty common people, and they're like, you know what, guys, we're going to give you something like a paid holiday or a bonus for the holiday. Or, you know, if you're a person of a particular faith or culture, you can take this day off because it happens to be of religious importance to you. Really nice stuff, stuff that I like to see from a company. But there's something that just happened, and I it blew my mind how this happened. So let's get into it. IKEA Store's Juneteenth menu featuring watermelon and fried chicken causes outrage from employees. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. This is ridiculous. Like, oh my god. An Ikea store in Atlanta is under fire over a food menu it put together that it said was to honor the Juneteenth holiday. The Juneteenth menu contained fried chicken, watermelon, mac and cheese, and collard greens. It was, oh fuck me. It was going to be available to all employees on Saturday to honor and per and to honor and persevere persevere Black Americans on Juneteenth. The store stated in an email sent to employees, according to the report. Okay, so oh my God. Okay, here it is. So on Thursday, June seventeenth, this year. President Joe Biden signed a bill to officially declare Juneteenth a federal holiday. The holiday, occurring on June 19th of every year, marks the end of slavery in the U.S., which ultimately came in 1865, two and a half years after Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. So it's a federal holiday that is commemorating the end of slavery here in the U.S. This is when it was made illegal and it was abolished, which I think fucking wonderful. This is a great holiday to celebrate. Good good part of American history, an example of us taking a step into the future to change our ways and to be a more free country to everybody that comes to us. But uh, I'm no expert. I'm no expert on this. You know, I don't work in a PR department at all. But um, something tells me that a Juneteenth menu featuring what is it? What, what insanity are they putting in this? Sorry, my fucking camera ran out of memory. I had to do some juggling around. Where was I? They sent employees, look out for a special menu on Saturday, which will include fried chicken, watermelon, mac and cheese, potato salad, collard greens, and candy yams. The message continued. Whew. See, when I first saw this headline, I thought that it was like, you know, they just fucked up a little bit, you know, just a little too far. No, they went full Monty. Like they straight up went the full nine yards on this one. And for obvious reasons, as you can imagine, NAACP slams Ikea Juneteenth watermelon menu apology as empty. So you know it's bad when the NAACP is after your ass. 
and their apology, let's get to the good stuff here, was this. In, in addition to offering Juneteenth as one of our paid holidays nationally, our IKEA Atlanta store has recognized Juneteenth with our co-workers for the past four years. To honor the day, a lunch menu was created with the best of intentions, including recommendations from black co-workers, and IKEA spokesperson tells people, we value our co-workers' voices and change the menu after receiving feedback that the foods that were selected are not reflective of the deeply meaningful traditional foods historically served as part of Juneteenth celebrations. <laughs> we got it wrong and we sincerely apologize, they continued. We are committed to educating ourselves and putting a process in place that will allow us to thoughtfully honor Juneteenth in the future. Yeah. Maybe you should have just stuck to giving everybody the day off as a paid holiday and just stuck to fucking meatballs. You're good at meatballs. Stick to fucking meatballs. This is not the time or the day and age to pull this shit as a company as big as you. And as a small little tidbit of extra little sauce on top of all this, it says right here in this photo, IKEA was founded in Sweden in 1943. IKEA is the world's largest furniture retailer. So far be it for me to say what a lot of people are probably thinking, but I don't think that many people found it appropriate for a Swedish company that was established back in the 1940s, not a great time for civil rights, to um, put their little spin on the holiday for those that are actually honored by the holiday. So uh, yeah, stick to meatballs. The only edges that you guys should have is on your kitchen knives and your furniture, not in your menu choices. I swear, the one thing that always really confuses me about this type of shit when it happens is I just wonder, like, how? How on earth did it get this far to this point? Like, are you telling me that there was no moment where this idea floated across someone's desk and they're like, Dude, are you sure this is okay? And someone was like replying to them like, nah man, trust me, they're gonna fucking love this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> this was a wild fucking ride and I will definitely be looking for some more crazy stuff to bring you guys in the future. I hope you enjoyed this and put a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you can find anything else on the internet that you would like me to do a video on. And as always, I appreciate you stopping by to give me the time of day. You guys have yourselves an awesome day, and remember that this is how legends play. You guys have a good one.